You know you want one, but let's be honest, most of us can't afford one. From impressive to outrageous, these are the most expensive TVs you can buy. Welcome back everyone, I'm Caleb Dennison, and while there are a bunch of inexpensive TVs that have never looked better, there are still plenty of TVs made for one percenters who like to flex. Now, I'm not gonna kid you, there are a couple of TVs on this list that I would totally buy if I could afford to, but there are also a few that are just plain ridiculous. Still, it's fun to look, right? So let's run through them. But before we do, do me a favor, hit that like and subscribe button. It's super important to help us keep making these videos for you. We'll start on the not quite appallingly expensive side of the spectrum with the Samsung Q900TS 8K QLED TV in the 85 inch size, of course. This TV is actually pretty stunning. I saw it at CES and I'm still holding out hope we'll get one in for review at some point. Anyway, it's got Samsung's new infinity screen, which has a very cool effect where the image just seems to hang in the air since there are effectively no visible borders around the top and sides of the screen. That 8K resolution may seem silly with no 8K content, but at 85 inches and with Samsung's upscaling, there is a difference you can see versus 4K. Plus, this TV has incredible HDR capabilities thanks to extreme brightness, very deep black levels, and impressive color gamut coverage. It's also got object tracking sound, which does an impressive job of making it seem like sounds are coming from objects on the screen. It's the best that Samsung makes for the typical home. And great news is it is now down to just $7,000 from its original $10,000 asking price. The next TV on the list comes from Samsung rival LG, and that would be none other than the 77 inch W9 wallpaper OLED. This TV still gets me every time I see it. It's everything I love about OLED, but in a flexible paper thin display that sticks up on the wall using magnets. Unfortunately, you do have to use this tank of a soundbar along with it, which tends to take away from the minimalism a little bit, but still, look at this thing. Plus, that soundbar actually sounds pretty good. You get perfect blacks, very satisfying contrast, rich color, and well, come on, it's really about that paper thin screen. It can be yours for just $10,000. $10K is gonna start looking like chump change real quick here. Let's kick it up a notch to the LG 77 inch and 88 inch ZX or Z10 OLED TVs. These are two of the most impressive displays I've ever seen. Again, with 8K, since there's no 8K content widely available, you rely on upscaling and LG has it down very well. I'll spare you the repeat of why OLED is so impressive and get straight to the shock factor by telling you that the 77 inch model goes for around $20,000 and the 88 inch is double that at $30,000. I mean, come on, that's almost kind of funny. If you have $30,000 to spend on a TV, well, then maybe you could just spend even more, but what to do with all that cash? Now, if you find LG's OLED designs a little blase, then you could take a look at the Bang & Olufsen Beovision Harmony or Beovision Eclipse. They go the opposite direction of minimalist with big, bold designs that fold up, swivel, and pull off all kinds of tricks. Part of the appeal here are some incredible built-in sound systems, so at least there's a little bit of added value to go with all the wood and metal accents. Now, both of these TVs use LG OLED panels, but they get the Bang & Olufsen treatment. The Beovision Harmony comes in 65, 77, and 88-inch variants running from $16,000 to over $40,000. That Bang & Olufsen sound, though. Now, how about you get serious about your compensating for whatever? Find a big ass wall in your home and rename it The Wall. Yep, I'm talking about Samsung's 292 inch micro LED The Wall TV. Now, if almost 300 inches of wall eating TV is a little too much, I have good news for you. This is a modular display, so you can piece it together in a number of different sizes and aspect ratios. In 2019, the wall was just 219 inches, and I'm sure you could take it down from there. Now, these are intended as commercial displays for various business applications, but if you have the cash, you can put it in your home. You'll need that good industrial strength AC in the summer, though, because these TVs are literally hot. 
like the amount of heat they put out could warm your home in the winter. Which, see, now I just see plenty myself on a bearskin rug in front of one of these with that Yule Log video playing and a huge snifter of brandy. Ah uh, yes, the good life. Anyway, Samsung is pretty tight-lipped about how much these cost, but each panel is supposed to go for about $16,000, and if you were to do a 6x6 display, that would be 36 panels for a total price of about $576,000, over half a mil. I guess if you have to ask, you probably can't afford it. Not to be outdone, Sony has a similar display it calls Crystal LED. We've also seen these at CES and they are pretty incredible. Like Samsung's The Wall, these are meant for commercial applications, but they also fit under the luxury living category such that if you can swing it, you can get one in your home. These are also scalable displays, so you can play around with the size and shape. Be ready to play around with that price too. I don't have confirmed numbers here, but the panels are rumored to run about $10,000 each. So if you went with a 4K version, that would run you $720,000, while the 16K, yes, I said 16K, would cost you about $5 million. Even pro athletes are gonna have sticker shock problems on a TV like that. Okay, this is probably the most outrageous thing I've seen outside of diamond-crusted TVs from years ago. I'm talking about the C-Seed 201. It's a retractable, moisture-repellent outdoor TV, 201 inches, and you can put it anywhere. So, why not a boat? Yeah, sure, put it on a boat. I mean, excuse me, your yacht. I mean, come on, isn't it enough to have a yacht that you have to put this TV on it? The ocean isn't beautiful enough of a view for you? You know what, I suppose if you have over $650,000, you get to do what you want and nobody will call you crazy. Maybe just a little eccentric, am I right? Thanks as always for watching everyone. We really enjoyed making this video for you. Here's two more that I picked just for you. And as always, visit digitaltrends.com for the latest tech news and reviews.